Nothing has gone to plan, but it's fine. So today I am filming a little day in my life vlog. I thought it'd be a good day to do it because I'm actually going into the office today. I had my little baby about four months ago. I started back at work about a month ago, but I have been working like 99.9% .9 from home. I've gone into the office once before. I went in last Monday and I'm going in this Monday. I am not doing full days. I didn't do a full day in the office last Monday and I'm not doing one today. Uh, it just feels too soon and I'm very lucky to be able to have the flexibility to work from home so I am taking advantage of that. Kai also has his four month doctor's appointment this afternoon. I am trying to get to the office early so that I have some time to get some things done before the day really picks up. The reason I'm going in today is that I have an in-person meeting that I'm hosting so I need to be there. So it is about seven... What time is it? I can't see. It's like 7.55. I wanted to be out the door at eight. We're still gonna try to get out the door as close to eight as possible because I want to avoid the traffic and I really would like to get started I on work. I feel like the second, hold on, I can't talk and do this. I feel like the second people start coming into the office and visiting and chit-chatting, which I love obviously, but I feel like the second that starts happening, my productivity goes way down. It is with my role at work. It is part of my job to be connecting with employees and talking with my coworkers, and I really enjoy doing that. But I also have quite a few end of the year deadlines that I have to complete. Let's pick an outfit. The hardest part of the day. I don't know if anybody else struggles with picking their outfit for work, but I want it to be cute. But then I'm also like lazy. You know how it is. Let's figure this out. Okay, you cannot even like see this outfit in the mirror because it's all black. <laughs> but I laid it on this. Some wide leg black pants. I need to pick my shoes. I might just do like a cute sneaker. I haven't decided yet. And then a black button up shirt. The pants are from H&M. And the shirt is from Uniqlo. I was going to wear a more fitted shirt to offset the uh, wide leg pants, but I just put on a shirt that was more fitted and I just was like, oh, I feel so uncomfortable. I just want to be comfortable. So we're going with a flowy loose look today. My hair also looks so fluffy because I brushed it. Guys, we're batting a thousand today. But it's fine. You know, it is what it is. I just, it's fine. Okay. So yeah, this is the look. This is what we're going with. I'm going to get my stuff together. Okay guys, <laughs> nothing has gone to plan, but it's fine. I am now in the parking lot of my work. It is 8.55. I wanted to get Chick-fil-A breakfast so bad. I am ravenously hungry, but it did not work out. It didn't work out. I left the house too late. I feel like I forgot since, you know, I'm not going into the office all that often. I think I forgot that the traffic is bad and it just like takes a long time to get over here. It took me like 25 minutes to get here. What the heck? I do not live that far away. So I realized as I was like plugging in my map that I was not going to be able to go to Chick-fil-A to get breakfast. And I'm so hungry and I was so excited. It sounded so good. So then I tried to look into the delivery option, but it's going to take anywhere from 17 to 33 minutes. And my meeting is at 9.30. And it is, like I said, 8.55. Also, I did go through the whole process to add everything to my cart. <laughs> and uh, when I went to go check out, it was $20 for like a little four count breakfast mini thing and hash browns. $20 hairs. Absolutely not. 
Honestly, delivery apps like DoorDash, Grubhub, such a scam, such a scam. Anyway, that is neither here nor there. I'm in the parking lot, about to go in. I feel a little bit more rejuvenated though because Barish made me an iced latte that I have here. This is my company Yeti. He made me a vanilla iced latte at home. You guys, I made my own homemade vanilla syrup for coffees. Chef's kiss. It is actually divine. I used a recipe that I found um, on YouTube, so I can link it below. But the vanilla syrup is so good. It is so easy. Truly, you do not need to buy vanilla syrup ever again. It is the easiest thing ever. It tastes so good. So much better than store-bought syrup. And I love it. He made me a little iced vanilla latte. So I've been drinking that, feeling rejuvenated, and now ready to go into the office. And you know, it's like almost nine o'clock, so I did not get here early. I was hoping to get here, so I had a solid like hour plus before my first meeting, but you know, it's okay. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get some work done. Also, the battery's about to die, so I need to change that. But, sorry, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute because I am like hyped on the coffee now. But I'm gonna get a snack at the office, I love this lip balm. I'm totally bought into the hype, the Summer Fridays lip balm, the cherry one, divine, but I have three of them. I know that's really excessive. So if you watch my what's in my bag, which I will link here, these were included because I keep them with me at all times. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, let's go into the office and get some work done. Okay, this is such a late check-in, but it is literally 1240, you guys. <laughs> The day has flown by. It has been such a busy day. My meeting went long this morning and then I had another meeting and then I've just kind of been head down trying to get down done as much as I possibly can. I'm in my office right now. I'm about to eat lunch because I'm ravenously hungry. So let me show you what we got. Oh, I have never been here before, but my manager said it's really good. It's called Williams Gourmet. So I got some fries. They look delicious. And I got a BLT. And that looks really good. So I'm going to literally crush this and get back to work because I have so much to do. I do have to leave early because Kai has a doctor's appointment this afternoon. It's his four month appointment, his four month checkup. So I'm gonna to go to that. So I'm probably gonna leave here around 2.30, but I have, it means I have two hours, literally two hours to try to get a ton of stuff done. I just really wanna get ahead today. So, uh, and I'm also catching up for being off for Thanksgiving because I was off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So. I'm gonna try to do all this. I'm gonna list a crime junkie while I get to work. So let's get this bread. <laughs> I am in the parking lot at the office getting ready to drive home. It is such a beautiful day out today. It says it's 56 degrees out on my car and it is so beautiful. The sun feels so warm. There is a cool breeze. It just feels so fall. I just love it. It feels so good. It's a beautiful blue sky. Oh, I just love it. It's like the perfect weather to drive in. I cannot wait to go home and put on like a comfy pair of pants and a big sweatshirt and get all cozy and hold my baby. I can't wait to go home and see him. Oh my God, the attachment is so real. I just like cannot wait to go home. So I am gonna head home. We're gonna stop by Starbucks first though because I want a little coffee, a little something something to power through the rest of the afternoon. Kai's doctor's appointment is at 4.30, I believe. So I'll have about an hour to get a little bit more work done before we go to his appointment. So I don't know what's gonna happen the rest of the night. I don't know where the rest of the night will take us, but uh, I'm just excited to go home and see my little baby boy. I cannot wait. This day was fairly productive. I did get some stuff done, but I feel like I have so many end of the year projects that need to be wrapped up. I'm trying not to get too overwhelmed about it. I think that it'll all be fine and dandy. Obviously it'll all get done, but I think when you're staring down the deadline and you know that a lot of it needs to be done by the end of December and the last two weeks of December are generally a wash, <laughs> I am just like, okay, I need to really, try to hammer out all of these things. So 
I have a couple goals set for myself for work stuff for this week. Uh, trying to get a bunch of stuff done by Wednesday. I don't know why I picked Wednesday, but Wednesday I'm gonna try to have that as my goal for getting a few things done. So I am so excited to get something at Starbucks. I don't know what I wanna get. I don't know if maybe, my favorite holiday drink is the chestnut praline latte. So I don't know if I wanna get one of those maybe. I actually kind of have a headache. I think it's cause I did not eat enough this morning and then really didn't eat much until lunch. And by the time lunch came, I had a really bad headache. So I don't know. I don't think a cold drink is sounding good to me. I think I want a hot drink. Who am I? Who is she? Yeah, I'm gonna put on a Crime Junkie episode for my drive home. I am so unbelievably excited for this coffee. Literally cannot wait to drink it. I have to edit a video tonight. I'm really excited to put it up. It's a little what's in my bag video. I love a what's in my bag video. I feel like I've said this 40 zillion times that I just absolutely love watching those videos. I love making those videos. I just, it's so much fun. I feel like I constantly get recommended what's in my bag videos on YouTube and I love watching them. I watch every single one. It's so fun. So I filmed one of those and updated one and I need to edit that tonight. It'll be up by the time you're watching this, so I can put a link to it above. But I'm trying to think through like my Christmas present situation, totally different topic. We're moving on to a different topic. I am trying to think through what to get everyone for Christmas. I don't know why I feel like I just don't have the brain capacity this year to really think about that. I don't really know what, I mean, I know what that is. I have a four month old baby and I just feel like I'm back to work. You know, there's so many things to think about and it's a lot to juggle, so. I need to really get down to business to defeat the Huns and make some lists, which is what I have been doing. I've been like trying to keep a list over the year actually of gift ideas and that has come in handy, but I still need to do some brainstorming, get some fresh ideas. Usually I'm a before Thanksgiving gift buyer. I really like to have it all done before the holiday season even really kicks off. I don't like doing it last minute. So I really need to get brainstorming on that. What, what gifts are you getting people? I'm actually very curious to know if you have any exciting gifts that you're giving anyone, please leave it in the comments. Give me some ideas. <laughs> um, it's Starbucks card. I think I need to do both though. I have not had a cranberry bliss bar so far this season, you guys. And the level of excitement I have right now is actually low key pathetic. <laughs> Let's see how cute it is. Why are they like the most cute little festive treats? I don't know, but I'm excited to eat it. Okay, I have to get out of this drive through line. I'm gonna go home. I'll see you there. It is now 8.45, 8.47 to be exact. And I am sitting at my desk at home and I am taking care of a couple things. I was gonna start editing that YouTube video, but then honestly, I felt super overwhelmed from all the work stuff that I have to do. So I wanted to go ahead and update my to-do list and knock just like a couple little things off of there just to get ahead for tomorrow because I already know tomorrow is sort of meeting heavy. I am working from home the rest of the week, but two of them are hour long meetings. so. I wanted to just get ahead a little bit. So I'm doing that now, going through a couple things um, in my emails and organizing some things, getting some of the little tasks done. And baby Kai Kai is sleeping. Angel boy. He did so well at his four month checkup. That's where we went this afternoon. We went for his four month checkup. Everything is good. He looks great in great health. He is a big boy, but everything went really well. He was very fussy and tired afterwards, so he didn't even want to finish his bottle tonight. So I don't know if he's gonna wake up in the night. He's been sleeping through the night, but I don't know if tonight he didn't, I'm not sure if he got enough before he went to bed. So we'll see, he just was so tired, like he was done. He was absolutely done. So uh, I put him down at like 7.15, which is even early for him to go to bed. Usually he goes to bed like between 7.30 and eight. So we'll see how this night goes, I don't know. It is a, probably a pretty good chance he might actually wake up and be hungry, but we'll see what happens. So I'll get up with that little nugget. I miss him when I'm sleeping anyway. So as you saw, after our, the doctor's appointment, we came back and Barish's parents who were visiting us had made us a delicious Turkish dinner. They've been making us so many amazing meals. They've been making us like breakfast, uh, dinner, snacks. It's been so helpful and so, so nice. They're so nice for doing it. 
and it has just made a world of a difference for Barsh and I to just not have to worry about food day to day. We're going to be very sad when they leave, not just because of that. Obviously, it's been great to have quality time with them, but yeah, it's just been such a great help. Uh, but we had dinner. It was delicious, and yeah, I think we're going to watch... We have two episodes left of the second season of Loki, and we are going to watch that. But I wanted to show you guys my new desk setup because I did uh, get a new desk and a cute little setup here because I wanted to. <laughs> so I just felt like my old desk was so tiny. It felt so cramped. Uh, my monitor situation just wasn't that streamlined or sleek. And I just, you know... I wanted it to be cute. Obviously functionality is the most important, but it being cute is also very important to me. So that is where we are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a little tour of my desk setup. Okay, this is my precious little desk setup. I am so obsessed with it. I can link everything below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any items for yourself, but I did get the classic uh, content creator Ikea desk. I feel like everybody has this desk. But I will tell you, it was so easy to put together and it is so functional. I love having the drawers because I feel like that really cuts down on the clutter that it's not shelves, it's actual drawers. So I really like that. I think this is the perfect size. Again, I'll link the specific one I have, but I actually feel like this is perfect for a little home desk setup. Let's start over here. So I have some of these little furry friends. Hey guys. I have a little uh, Istanbul print and then I switch that out between that and a Tokyo print depending on my mood uh we have my little charging station over here so I normally have a little cord here and my iPad sits here but my iPad's in the other room but my iPad sits here for charging I have a phone charger I have the cute little Ikea mushroom lamp honestly I would get three more of these just to put around my house it is the perfect warm light it is so tiny and nondescript and I just love it I have this cute little thing that says life is just better when I'm with my dog because I love my little puppy dog, Lucy. And then I have this little jar of sand and some shells from Kai's first beach trip. Now I went back and forth forever about what I wanted my keyboard set up to be. And this just appeared to me. I don't even know where I saw this. Maybe Google showed it to me because they knew I was looking, but it's a Logitech. I think this is called their pop line pop or something like that. Again, I will link it below, but they have this little bundle and obviously purple is my favorite color. I love the color purple, especially this like lavender type color. So when I saw this, I knew it was meant for me. I even have like a, ma a water bottle this color. So everything kind of matches. I mean, this is excessive, but like even my AirPods case is purple. <laughs> like, look at this. Are you kidding? Uh, but anyway, you get a deal if you get the whole bundle. So I got this little mat for my desk this keyboard, which is a mechanical keyboard. It just sounds so satisfying when you type. And because I am a 30 something teenager, I absolutely love that there's emoji keys. <laughs> so you can set which emojis you want these to be. Um, you can set them for the corresponding ones. I actually think they're automatically set to the corresponding emoji on the key, but you can also get access to all the emojis through this button, but then you can also change these. So I'm obsessed with this. And then the cute little mouse, I'm obsessed with that as well. Anyway, I just like couldn't think that this was cuter. <laughs> so I love it and I feel like it looks so good with the white. I did upgrade to this Samsung monitor. I love it. It is a curved monitor and it is big enough that you can do dual screens, which I absolutely love. It's so nice for my job specifically. I have to compare documents a lot of the time or take information from one to put to another. So it's so nice to be able to have a dual screen situation. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, I got this little riser for my monitor off of Amazon. I have two precious pens here that I just got from a store at the mall. They're from Japan. And this one is this really cute Hello Kitty one. Like how cute is it? It's red and I thought it was adorable. And then this one I actually flipped over. It is a cafe Pokemon themed one. So it has Pokemon on it and it literally says enjoy your cafe time. That's adorable. And then it has little like cafe treats on it and it's all Japanese. It's precious. So I got these pens at the mall. Actually, I'll try to link those because I think they do have an online store. So I'll try to link those if I can. Then over on this side, we have my monitor so I can watch my precious little baby. My brother got me these precious coasters. Look how sparkly it is. 
I feel like the blue complements the purple so well. So I have this coaster here for when I have a mug of coffee or a cup of coffee, etc. I have a candle right now. I have this one my sister got me. It is a fall scented candle. It smells like pumpkin souffle, pumpkin spice, and cinnamon, and it is all uh, Taylor Swift themed. So it is autumn leaves falling like pieces into place. And I just thought this was so cute and it was so nice she got this for me. What I really loved about it is they took lyrics from Taylor Swift songs that kind of summed up the feeling of autumn and included them on the label, which I think is so, so cute. And it has sparkles, like ugh, I'm obsessed. And it smells so good. So I'm burning that right now. Then I have the BTS B album, just cause I feel like it looks really cute here. <laughs> I love the aesthetic. And then last but not least, because I have allergies and consistently have a stuffy nose, I have my tissues and because I'm extra as hell, I got a little tissue cover because I thought that the box was hideous. So yeah, that is my precious little desk setup. I'm going to be honest, I feel like what I need to finish off this desk setup is a new chair. This one's fine, like it's fine, but it's just like an office chair. I want something cuter. My sister told me about this chair that's going viral on TikTok what you call it, the cross-legged chair or something. But I really would like that because I actually really love to sit with a leg under me, which I actually think is like not that good for you. But I love sitting crisscross applesauce and I also love sitting with a leg like under the other leg. So I feel like I need a chair like that to accommodate. Not a need, it's not a need, but it's a want. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like I've already spent enough creating this setup. I probably don't need a chair as well. But we shall see. I think I'll probably wrap up this vlog here. We're going to spend the rest of the night finishing Loki season two. I'm really hoping to get some reading in. I am so close to reaching my reading goal for the year. I say so close, but I'm going to be honest. I actually don't think I'm that close. Let's actually check really quick. So, ooh, I've read my goal for the year is 30 books and I've read 25. I'm currently two books behind schedule. Does that mean I have to read five books before the end of December? Okay, I really need to ramp it. Like I need to spend some time reading because I really want to make my goal. It drives me nuts when I don't finish it. <laughs> but I need to get a move on because I apparently have a month and three days to finish five books. I will say I purposefully plan to have some like fluffier, lighter reads in December knowing I might be struggling <laughs> to make my goal. So I picked a couple things for December that are lighter, like holiday reads that are fun and festive. So I'll definitely be reading at least two of those in December, but I need to get a move on with all of my reading. Okay, I need to start my book tonight. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog off here. We're going to finish up Loki season two. I'm going to start reading. <laughs> and try to get some rest before another day tomorrow. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I feel like I say this in every vlog, but I hope that this was fun to watch. I feel like a lot of the times when I vlog, it feels so mundane to me that I feel like there's no way it's entertaining, but I hope that it is. <laughs> I hope you guys like watching it. I will leave some links below for some other videos to watch and links to some of the things that I mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it as always, and I will see you in the next one.